Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. Today we are going to solve a question of linear algebra from CSIR Net Mathematics, June 2011. The question is from the topic subspace. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, let M be the vector space of all 3 cross 3 real matrices and let A is 3 cross 3 matrix having element 2, 1, 0. 0 to 0 and 0 0 3 which of the following are subspace of m option 1 x belongs to m such that x a equal to a x option 2 x belongs to m such that x plus a equal to a plus x option 3 x belongs to m such that trace of a x equal to 0 option 4 x belongs to m such that determinant of a x equal to 0 in order to solve the question, we have to remember the following results. Result number 1. Let V over F be a vector space over the field F. A non-empty subset W of V is set to be subspace of V if W itself a vector space over F with same vector addition and scalar multiplication as for V. Result number 2. A necessary and sufficient condition for a non-empty subset W of a vector space V over F to be a subspace of Vf is that AU plus V belongs to W for all U comma V belongs to W and A belongs to F. Now given M be a vector space of all 3 cross 3 real matrices, this implies the field is a set of real number. Consider the set M1 containing x belongs to M such that x a equal to a x. This implies M1 is a subset of M. Since 3 cross 3 real identity matrix belongs to M1, this implies M1 is not equal to phi. Let x comma y belongs to M1. This implies x a equal to a x and y a equal to a y. Let a belongs to R. Now, ax plus y into a is equal to ax into a plus y into a, which can be further written as a into xa plus y into a, which is further written as aax plus ay, which is further written as a into ax plus y. Therefore, ax plus y into a is equal to a into ax plus y. This implies ax plus y belongs to m1. Since x, y are arbitrary elements of M1 and A is arbitrary element of R, this implies Ax plus y belongs to M1 for all x, y belongs to M1 and A belongs to R. This implies the set M1 is a subspace of M. Therefore, option 1 is correct. Now consider the set M2 containing x belongs to M such that x plus a equal to a plus x. This implies M2 is a subset of M. Also M2 is not equal to phi by the same argument as of M1. Let x comma y belongs to M2. This implies x plus a is equal to a plus x and y plus a is equal to a plus y. Let a belongs to R. Now Ax plus Y plus A can be written as A plus Ax plus Y. This implies Ax plus Y belongs to M2. Since X comma Y are the arbitrary elements of M2 and A is the arbitrary element of R, this implies Ax plus Y belongs to M2 for all X comma Y belongs to M2 and A belongs to R. This implies the set M2 is a subspace of M. Therefore, option 2 is correct. Now again consider the set M3 containing x belongs to M such that trace of Ax equal to 0. This implies M3 is a subset of M. Also, M3 is not equal to phi by the same argument as of M1 and M2. Let x, y belongs to M3. This implies trace of Ax equal to 0 and trace of Ay equal to 0. Let A belongs to R. 
Now trace of a into ax plus y is equal to trace of a into ax plus a into y which is further written as a into trace of ax plus trace of ay. Why it is so? Because we know that trace of a plus b is equal to trace of a plus trace of b and trace of a into a is equal to a into trace of a where a is scalar which is equal to a into 0 plus 0 because trace of ax is 0 and trace of ay is 0 this is equal to 0 therefore trace of a into ax plus y is equal to 0 this implies ax plus y belongs to m3 since x comma y are the arbitrary elements of m3 and a is the arbitrary element of r this implies ax plus y belongs to m3 for all x comma y belongs to m3 and a belongs to r this implies the set m3 is a subspace of m therefore option 3 is correct again consider the set m4 containing x belongs to m such that determinant of ax equal to 0 this implies m4 is a subset of m also m4 is not equal to phi by the same argument as of m1 m2 and m3 let x comma y belongs to m4 this implies determinant of ax is 0 and determinant of ay is 0 let a belongs to r now determinant of a into ax plus y is equal to determinant of a into ax plus a into y this is not equal to determinant of a into ax plus determinant of a into y why it is so because we know that determinant of a plus b is not equal to determinant of a plus determinant of b this implies m4 is not closed under matrix addition this implies m4 is not a subspace of m therefore option 4 is wrong Hence, options 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.